Ah, good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Level 4 Researcher Theron Sherman. And today's broadcast is to brief you on one of the largest, most dangerous anomalies we know of. Item number, SCP-5909. Classified Level 2 5909 Restricted. Containment Class, Pending. Disruption Class, Amida. Special Containment Procedures. The Foundation currently has no method of feasibly reaching and or containing SCP-5909. All efforts are to be reallocated to discrediting, confiscating, and or destroying any information or evidence regarding SCP-5909. The Astronomical Anomalies Department will continue to monitor SCP-5909. Description SCP-5909 is a crustacean measuring an estimated 2.1 light years in length, located 7.5 light years from the Sol system. Aside from its size, SCP-5909 possesses features congruent with those found in Alaskan pink shrimp, genus Pandalus eus. SCP-5909 has shown no signs of life or movement, remaining in a fixed position since its discovery. Discovery Log SCP-5909 was originally discovered by astronomer Julian Martin at SALT-1 on May 20th, 2020. The Foundation became aware of the discovery when Mr. Martin attempted to publish his findings. All evidence was confiscated and Mr. Martin was administered Class A amnestics. Update, June 21st, 2020. At 12 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, Foundation Telescope Anna 9 detected SCP-5909 moving at 120,000 kilometers per second on a direct course for the Sol system. The Foundation has reached out to contacts within the Global Occult Coalition in order to formulate a method of neutralizing SCP-5909. SCP-5909 Neutralization Proposal Summary Operations Shellfish In the situation that SCP-5909 continues on its current velocity and enters Sector 6225-P6782, Neutralization has been authorized. Utilizing several anomalous items, the Foundation will transport GOC's ZX-6 relativity bomb directly above SCP-5909. Detonation of the ZX-6 will lead to the immediate erasure of Sector 6225-P678, effectively removing SCP-5909 from reality. O5 Command approved. High Command approved. Preparations are currently underway. Note, the threat posed by SCP-5909 is unparalleled. It is nearly 1.1 light years larger than the Sol system. It would be catastrophic if it is allowed to reach even one light years distance from Sol. The gravitational pull alone would dismantle our solar system entirely, and at its current velocity, impact would instantly disintegrate the remains. If our response to this situation seems excessive, it is only because you do not fully grasp the threat posed by SCP-5909. Alabaster Cobb signed this, Director of Tactical Response, Astronomical Anomalies Department. Update, June 21st, 2020. SCP-5909 abruptly ceased movement at 6 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time. At 11.46 a.m., Foundation web crawler GG-501 detected a total of 579 posts discussing SCP-5909 on the social media platform Twitter. The accounts used for these posts were owned by civilians in and around the city of Lockhart, Texas. The post discussed a billboard featuring SCP-5909, along with a link to www.bigshrimp-endlesstaste.com. Accessing this website leads to a live camera feed of SCP-5909. The following is a transcript of events taking place between 12 p.m. and 12.05 p.m. The footage has been confirmed via two separate Foundation telescopes. Begin log. 12 p.m. SCP-5909 begins to move counterclockwise, exposing its underside to the camera. 12.01. The subject releases a brown cloud of unknown composition. SCP-5909 is coated in the brown substance. 12.02. Subject continues to rotate. Steam begins to release from SCP-5909. 12.03. SCP-5909 has taken on a brownish-pink hue and has exposed its topmost carapace. A dark discoloration is visible on its shell. 1204 to 1205, the camera zooms in on the discoloration, revealing writing. If you'd like to enjoy real endless shrimp, 
Come on down to Red Lobster for our spring steam bake and the shrimp special. And log. The billboard was rented by Brant Seymour, now listed person of interest 5909-A, manager of Lockhart's Red Lobster restaurant. Red Lobster Corporate, as well as their parent company Darden, have refused to answer any questions regarding the billboard, Mr. Seymour, or 5909. A disinformation campaign is currently being formulated. Efforts to apprehend Mr. Seymour are underway. Look guys, I don't know what to tell you. I told you it was big and dangerous. I didn't tell you it wasn't stupid. <laughs> All right, staff, that ends our broadcast. Use your foundation encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell, and support our broadcast at patreon.com slash site42.